name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing this teal, yellow, brown, peach, tea, white look. I just went crazy using all of the different colors that I could put into this eye look using the new Charlie and the Chocolate Factory from Storybooks Cosmetics and I definitely feel like I got the golden ticket with this palette. So let's look at this palette. A, it's cute. It looks like a book, once again, from Storybook Cosmetics. I absolutely love the ideas that they put together using a book concept because ever since I was a child, I love reading. And this is one of the books that I loved as a child, as a matter of fact. In fact, I think I read all three of the books. And so anyways, when you open up this palette, it's got a nice mirror. The exterior is absolutely adorable. But now let's talk about the shadows. So the shadows have a great pan size. They're really nice. And so as you're going to see, I used a lot of colors for this eye look because I wanted to see how did they blend. Did they get muddy when you started blending different colors together? Did they hold their true color? Did they have a ton of fallout or did they just disappear on your eye as you put them on like some do? I always get frustrated when you pick up a color and you start using it and then all of a sudden it looks nothing like it did in the pan. Absolutely drives me insane. So I really wanted to know, did these colors do that also? So my review is, um, I use, let's see, Augustus Galoop. We use some Everlasting Gobstopper. Veruca Salt, Fizzy Lifting Drink, Wonka Bar, and Mike TV to create this eye look. And as you can see, the colors did not get muddy. My colors actually stand out. So you can see the Mike TV, you can see the Fizzy Drink. Um, the, the Augustus Galoop is right up here. And then we have the Everlasting Gobstopper in the crease. And then of course the Wonka Bar on the outside. And so it didn't get muddy. They blended really nice. They held their colors really nice. As far as fallout goes, there is a little fallout. So you want to cap your brush before you go to put it on. Um, but other than that, I mean, really and truthfully, these this is an amazing palette. So the colors are really bright and fun. And that might be hard for some people. But don't be afraid of this palette. Get outside your comfort zone and grab it because it is a lot of fun. So I did not use what I normally traditionally would have gravitated towards, which is probably some of the purples and maybe the oranges. I myself wanted to get outside my comfort zone and see what could I do and did I like it. So normally I would not pick probably some of these colors with the exception of the yellow and the brown. I think those are natural for me, but to grab the teal and to mix it with the gobstopper Actually, to do this kind of eye look is really outside of my comfort zone, but I really enjoyed how it came out. So anyways, would I recommend this palette on a scale of one to 10? Love the colors. They're absolutely fun. So give that a, a 10. As far as the presentation goes, uh, again, another 10. Um, it does have a little fallout. So I probably give the, that maybe a nine and a half. The fallout isn't something that is distracting. It's very easy as long as you tap your brush. Pan size is great. And again, these don't get muddy and they don't disappear on your eye as soon as you put them on. So I give that a 10 also. So overall, would I repurchase this again if I hit pan on all these colors? Absolutely. I really, really like these. So I'm hoping that helps you in your decisions. So if you want to see how I did create this eye look using all these kind of crazy colors, please stay tuned. All right, we're going to start with Augustus Galoop, which is a really pretty kind of tan color, to be honest with you. So we're going to use that as our little transition shade. After, of course, we've taken out our magic ticket. Oh, excuse me, golden ticket, not magic ticket. And on it, it says, 1st of February, 10 a.m. Wonka golden ticket. Many wonderful uh, surprises await you. Now, Wonka could take away about 30 to 40 pounds on me. That would be a golden day. Okay, so this Augustus Gloop kind of looks like a little bit of either a really lightened up coffee with a ton of creamer 
or maybe even some creamer and some hot tea. So I'm kind of liking that. It's a nice to me transition color. It looks like it's picking up a little bit more orange on camera than in person. So we'll see how this look turns out totally. Next, I'm gonna pick up some Everlasting Gobstopper. And who doesn't love some Everlasting Gobstoppers? Actually, my jaws, they don't like them. And this color is going on really nice and pigmented. These are really soft and they seem to be blending really well. Actually, that's a lot more pigmented than what I had anticipated. I figured this color would really kind of go on super light and it's actually held the same color that's in its pan. I have to be super pumped about that because there's so many times you go to get a color and you're real excited about the color and then you go to use it and you're like, well, where did that color just go? So far, these are not doing that, which is pretty freaking amazing. So I'm not quite sure what look I'm going to do other than I'm using a ton of colors just because I can and I want to. We're going to pick up some of this teal, which is Mike TV. And these do have a little bit of fallout. Know that. You do need to tap your brush. But even Mike TV is going on really, really nice. Don't ask me where I'm going with this. I have no clue, just like you. I'm just playing with colors. And you're probably thinking, holy smokes, she just looks like she got beat in the face. We'll get this worked out. All right, so this brush got mangled um, thanks to one of my animals, but it washed up nicely, so that's all that matters, right? All right, so we're gonna use the fizzy lifting drink because why not? We have all kinds of other crazy colors on my eyes right now. so. Why not add a little fizzy lifting drink to our life? I actually like that color, but again, for some reason I've really been into yellows. I don't know what my fascination with yellows are because to be honest with you, and it could be because one of my besties, hi Carla, her, her favorite color is yellow. And then we kind of got separated a little bit. She's in a different state. I'm in a different state. And maybe that's why I love yellow now because I miss my girl. I miss you, Carla. Okay, so we're gonna pick up Wonka Bar. Maybe adding some more neutrals will ground this crazy look we got going on. But as my favorite, one of my favorite ladies that does makeup on YouTube, Bailey Sarian says, it's only makeup, it will wash off. And if y'all haven't had a chance to go look at her YouTube channel, you need to, she's adorable. I just like watching her because she cracks me up. And she is right. I think after watching a lot of her videos and seeing that sometimes things start out a little wonky, no pun intended, she always makes her eye looks really, really pretty. And if you had stopped, or if she had stopped, you know, first go round, she wouldn't have created such an interesting, beautiful piece. So, not saying that's what's gonna happen on my eyes right now, because I'm using all kinds of colors. But she did teach me that, and I'm forever grateful for her videos because she just inspires me to try different things just because and don't worry about being perfect. Okay, so I'm not sure about Charlie Bucket or Veruca Salt. So Charlie Bucket looks a little, it's got some shimmer, shimmer's the word. Veruca Salt is more matte, which might be what I need. Maybe more shimmer is not what I need at this point. So we're gonna do some Veruca Salt underneath the eyebrow bone. And I haven't done my eyebrows yet, so I've still gotta do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop some right there, just to lighten that teal just a wee bit. So as far as the rest of the makeup, I used some BD cream on my face today. That's the first time I've used um, DD cream on camera. I've been playing with it off camera. I've used some candy for my powder, and I've used NARS, no, MAC Warm Soul just for the cheeks. So that's kind of got you basically caught up to where I'm at. I've not done my eyebrows, 
but I really like this little Mac um, eyebrow thing that I got in my boxy charm last month. It's in color lingering. I always want to say lingerie, but I really like it because it's little, so I can do kind of hair like strokes and just kind of fill in instead of having that massive stencil brow that is popular. And to be honest, I don't do good brows, whether it's a stencil brow or not. I'm not picking on anyone for their abilities. I just can't do it. Okay, I did purchase some Thrive Cosmetics Waterproof Eyeliner. And so far, I'm really kind of digging them, to be honest with you. They seem to hold up against my wet eyes. In fact, I'm going to dry this off a little bit. been kind of impressed, and this is kind of a crayon one. But it, it's doing pretty good overall. So what I'll do is I'll get this on and then we'll fix that teal color over the top. I haven't had any antihistamines yet, so my eyes are really having a good time being ugly. Okay, so I got the brown on the bottom, so now I'm going to go ahead and pick up some Wonka Bar. And I'm going to go right over the Thrive Cosmetics. I'm going to pick back up that Mike TV teal and go right on the bottom. I'm going to pick back up the Thrive Cosmetics in that brown, and the brown is called Ella. And that's just going to give us a little bit of a smoky look on top. We're going to be adding some false eyelashes, and I'm still not sure what to do with my lip color. I guess a nice neutral would be fine, but I feel like that's all I've been wearing is neutral lips, and that just kind of gets boring. But my eyes are kind of crazy, so maybe a neutral lip would be better, right? So I'm going to use the lip pencil from MAC, and this one is in Pearl. Pearl. <laughs> I do want a little bit of a stick to itness with my lips today. That's a little bit lighter chocolate. All right, we're going to use the Huda, and this is in Trendsetter. I just love these little ones. I wish more makeup companies would do littles. These are the Salon Perfect eyelashes from Walmart, and I was using the Tardiest Pro glue. And it looks like I got some right there, so we'll let that dry and I'll pick that off. So we're going to give my lashes a moment to set and then we are going to go ahead and darken them up with mascara. And I think I'm going to, while those are setting, I'm going to put on some metallic lip gloss from Beauty Creations. It smells like chocolate, so that just seems perfect. I like everything metallic. I don't know why. I'm like a crow to a shiny ball. For the under eyes, I'm going to use the Scuba Water Resistant Black Mascara. It's not an eye look unless I get mascara somewhere. I just wish my strong points were something other than getting mascara all over my face. Alright, I'm going to use this Ordinary Fluid Primer and I'm just going to kind of dab that right on the glue. Also a Bailey Sarian tip, except I don't have any cotton or uh, Q-tips in here. So we're going to use a cotton ball. And now that we have a hole in our makeup, I'm just going to take a little bit of this BB cream, really on the tip of my finger. Now that my eyelashes should have semi-dried, we're going to pick up the Marc Jacobs mascara and apply that to our lashes. All right, so I'm going to finish this hair, come back, and kind of wrap up Thank the Thank you video. so much for watching today. Me playing with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I definitely felt like I got my golden ticket with this new eyeshadow palette. So Storybook Cosmetics, you're absolutely adorable. I love your products. I get excited every time you put something out, which means I have to buy it. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any thoughts, questions, please put those below. I love interacting with my YouTubers. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.